CNA is represented on Coronavirus Commission for Safety and Quality in Nursing Homes, and CMS updates nearly 30,000 COVID-19 nursing home deaths. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 24th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Top leaders in the long-term care industry are among the names announced Friday afternoon as members of the White House's new Coronavirus Commission for Safety and Quality in Nursing Homes. One of those leaders is NACA's own co-founder and CEO, Lori Porter, to represent certified nursing assistants and assisted living caregivers. 24 others with a wide variety of backgrounds have also been appointed to the commission. More than 800 applicants were received. The new commission's mission is to review nursing homes' response to the COVID-19 pandemic and come up with recommendations for new regulations and procedures for future emergency situations. Commission members have met for the first time this week and will do so weekly through July. They are to issue a report on September 1st before the panel is dissolved. The commission was announced at an April 30th White House ceremony that garnered wide attention. Its administration is being handled by the MITRE Corporation, a private contractor engaged by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The group will work on developing recommendations on three fronts, putting nursing home residents first by ensuring they are protected from COVID-19 and improving the responsiveness of care delivery to meet the needs of all residents to maximize quality of life for residents, strengthening regulations to enable rapid and effective identification and mitigation of COVID-19 transmission in nursing homes, and in enhancing federal and state enforcement strategies to improve compliance with infection control policies in response to COVID-19. Commission members will serve in a voluntary unpaid capacity and must sign a non-disclosure agreement and conflict of interest disclosure form. Nearly 30,000 nursing home residents have died from the coronavirus according to the latest data from CMS. The agency also reported Thursday that there were a total of 107,389 confirmed COVID-19 cases in addition to more than 71,000 suspected cases as of June 7th at facilities across the country. By comparison, a Wall Street Journal analysis found that the deaths in nursing homes and other long-term care facilities had topped 50,000, along with more than 250,000 among residents and staff members by Tuesday. It added that the number is likely actually higher due to reporting lags and collection differences among states. The CMS cited data was submitted by nursing homes through the CDC and National Healthcare Safety Network system. A thorough breakdown of the data featuring maps and charts, as well as each individual facility's statistics, can be found on CMS's website. The agency also released an FAQ regarding its data quality, collection methods, and projections. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.